This podcast is sponsored by Crypto University. Yes, it's a whole university of cryptocurrency. Go to cryptouniversity.network and learn how to invest or trade in cryptocurrencies or NFTs and change your life. So use the link in the description of this video for benefits when you sign up. Welcome to Podcast with McNyoni. I'm so excited today. I'm trying to grab the mic. Obviously, Kelly Yon is gonna. We good? We good. Okay. Welcome to Podcast with McNyoni. Today I'm so excited as usual. Uh, because today we're having another female guest. Every time this happens, I'm so excited because I promote the whole inclusive narrative. I promote the 50-50 campaign. Of course, in government in Malawi's 4064 appointments. But I'm so happy when I have a female guest. Welcome, Priscilla. Thank you. Let me do a proper introduction for you. Okay. Priscilla. All the right. Matt Awarding winning TV host, radio presenter, fresh on, on, on Zodiac host, social hub as well, yeah. producer, okay. corporate MC, yeah. content creator, Jeez. you find on TikTok, <laughs> advertiser, yeah. influencer, of course, and so many things. Yeah. Welcome, Priscilla. I'm about to be an artist. I'm joking. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you so much for having me. No, no, I'm so excited to have you uh, for so many reasons. Yeah. Uh, so many reasons because, one, of course, you're going to give me the numbers on this podcast. <laughs> <laughs> but yeah, because I know um, you have been around. I followed your story mm-hmm. uh, when you came on Zodiac, I think around 2017, right? 2018. 2018, somewhere there. Yeah. yeah. So I followed your story because I knew um, some other people who were doing the show that particular yeah. time. Mm. And then up to now. Yeah. It's an amazing story, man. It is. How does it feel to, to be you? How does, I don't know. Um, right now, mm. it, I think it's overwhelming mm. to be me. But before then, I didn't think about it like that. I was just like, okay, it's just all right. I'm mm. doing my job. But right now, when I think about it, when I hear you people say that, that's when it's like, Oh, okay. I'm really No, you you're a big deal. Yeah. You're a big deal, I'm telling you. Okay. Like uh like in Africa, right? When you look at there's so many people that are doing stuff. And mm. specifically in Malawi, if we are to Zilla N, you find that Malawi has so many people that are doing things yeah. and you're being consistent. Yeah. Consistent. Yeah, yeah. Oh my god. Yeah. I'm so excited. So I'm so honored. So let's start from your story. Okay. And on this podcast, it's all about stories of people. I believe in the stories of people mm. because I know stories are something that attract people yeah. to emulate and then be able to take those lessons and use them. Mm. So let's start from Marymount. Yeah. Yeah. What was happening at Marymount? <laughs> what was happening at Marymount? <laughs> yeah. Let's see, I went to Marymount in 2006 yeah. and I graduated in 2009. Mm. But during that time, I think I wasn't sure of what I wanted to be and what I wanted to do. Yeah. I pretty much was those kids where I was just going to school because I needed to go to school. Mm. And when mm. I hear mm. my friends saying, oh, they want to study this and that, for me, it was just like, Hey, guy, yeah. I kept on saying I wanted to be a doctor, but my mom was like, hey, the way you failed math and <laughs> physics, I don't think that will work. Maybe just tone down your career a little bit. But for me, I kind of saw it as, why are mm. you demotivating me? I yeah. really want to be the, the doctor. Yeah. Because at that, at that time, my mom was working at College of Medicine. Oh. So me going there, I was just like, okay, I also want to, you know, become one of the students. Yeah. So I could have that, you know, that thing where, my mom is working here. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> it was quite I childish to think yeah, about it. Yeah. yeah. So I graduated. I was actually a prefect. I did sports. I was okay. a sports prefect at Marymount. All right. I played hockey, volleyball, table wow. tennis. And I think I still do. I still have it in me. Mm. <laughs> no, you, you, you are you're a talented person. Yeah. Right? So, yeah. And then I graduated in 2009. Mm. And that was it. Marymount cool. was, was, was that. Interesting. That. Another interesting fact is I think when I was graduating... There was a skit, and mm. uh, most of my friends from my mom still remind me to today. Yeah, I did a skit of where I was a journalist, and and I Im- imitated Tamara and Kandawire then. Yeah, and I did this accent, and what mm. I don't even know where that accent was coming from. Yeah, <laughs> and all the teachers were like, "Okay, Priscilla, we didn't know that you could actually speak very well mm. on, uh, publicly like this." I was like, "Okay, I think I just did it because it was a skit, and I was practicing, yeah, I was practicing, yeah, yeah, yeah. not knowing that I think." 
that was the path that God mm. had for me, but then I just did not see it. Or maybe it was just a coincidence. Yeah. We might call it that, or maybe the purpose. I'm mm. not really sure. That was a purpose, probably a prophecy in this day and age. Yeah, yeah, I yeah. guess. Maybe somebody was prophesying for me somewhere. Yeah. I didn't know. Yeah. No, that's amazing. Yeah. That's amazing. So let's talk about Daystar. Mm. Marymount Daystar. Yes. Wait, you, didn't, you didn't want to study in Malang? What was happening? What I, um, so after I graduated from four, my points weren't very good for me yeah. to be admitted to uh, Malawi University. Yeah. So I remember I started going to Polytechnic Continuation. Yeah, yeah. So I did a like, course. Uh, my parents did not live in Malawi. My mom and dad, my little brother. Mm. So then I, the other question that comes is, then why did you stay in yeah, Malawi? Yeah. So I stayed because my parents really wanted me to finish secondary school. They didn't want me to mm. I think that's what they call it. Mm. So just finish um, secondary school. Then you can now come and just apply for college. Yeah. That was the plan. Mm. So unfortunately, because we do not own the British embassy, <laughs> my visa failed. The Whoa. settlement visa failed. And at that time... We try to apply again. It failed for the second time. Oh. So I told my mom that my my life needs to go on. I cannot mm. just be waiting. Mm. The, my story cannot be I've applied for a visa. I'm mm. waiting. I'm going to the UK. Yeah. People start to laugh at you. Mm. <laughs> We're like, oh, yeah. Mm -hmm. I mean, like, yeah. Who, you, are you sure people really live in the UK? So yeah. at that time, my aunt used to stay in Kenya. Mm. So my mom suggested, okay. Apply for a school at Daystar in Kenya. Mm. Then you go stay with your aunt. Mm. And that's when. So I applied. But then I um, applied the course of management information systems yeah. because at Polytechnic I was doing city and guilds. I don't know. Yeah, the city and guilds was, was a board, right? And you would you could do a couple of courses. Exactly. Yeah. City and guilds, and I did. I think I've forgotten the course. It was like tele telecommunications yeah. because I think city and guilds were doing tele telecommunication at that particular time because I did something uh, in those you in those, did. In those areas. <laughs> Oh, well, I'm so, and yeah. it was so famous then. So I mm. used those um, that diploma that I got to get admitted into Daystar. Oh, and okay. that's when I started doing management information systems. Yeah. Mind you, this was also still computers. Yeah. So I started and I was like, okay, I've started my first semester and I felt so bad. Yeah. I think my GPA was one point something. What? Imagine your GPA is one point something. Hey, that's, that's a total fail, right? <laughs> yeah, it is a total fail. So. Yeah. Uh, my mom again came mm. back with the same advice, like mm. Zintu Zitu Sizano. <laughs> I think you need to change oh your God. course, you know. Yeah. My mom is brutally honest and mm. I think she knows me and she knows how my pen works. She saw where this was going. She's like, I cannot send you to Kenya only for you to be failing. We're mm. wasting a lot of money because Daystar is a very expensive university. Mm. It's a private uni. So you oh, definitely yeah. know Obviously. It's, yeah. <laughs> money you know, is going it's in. Crazy, yeah. So I was like, okay, first semester, maybe. I was trying to adjust. I work really hard and I promised. The second semester came, I failed again. Ish. So now the thing with Daystar is when you fail like that, you're on a probation list. So for oh. you to work hard, they'll put that probation list on the notice board for oh. everybody in the oh. school to see. Nah. So it was like, okay, Priscilla, okay, now I used to be that vibrant girl, mm. whatever. Now the school is talking like, eh, she's always going over, but now she's failing. <laughs> <laughs> it, it, hey. it was embarrassing. Yeah. So what drove me was the embarrassment to think mm. that, eh, and I'm failing. My mm -hmm. parents are putting in a lot of money and I'm not yeah. doing very well. My mom was like, there's nothing wrong with you changing your course. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Um, you can always change your direction. So because originally, I really did not know what my purpose was. Yeah. Originally, I did not know what I wanted to do with my life. Yeah. I was just winging it. That mm. was pretty much me winging because mm. if I knew what I really wanted to do, I would have gone for it. Yeah. But I yeah. was I was just, okay, City and Gills, we did this. Let's go to this. That we're still mm. doing computers. Mm. I think this is the path. Yeah. And tell me, so I think doing computers, ICT was the in was a thing. thing. Yeah, it was a thing. So everybody wanted to do yeah. <laughs> IT. And I was like, I wanted, also wanted to be part of the wagon. Yeah. Um, and then... I lowered my self-esteem and I remember I went to the registrar's office. Luckily, she was a lady. Mm. Then I spoke to her. I showed her my grades. She was really sad. She's mm. like, but I've been seeing you around. Your character seems very vibrant. You seem mm. to be um, open. Have you ever tried to uh, think maybe you can do communications? Yeah. So Daystar is a communication school. Ah. So for the fact that you've gone to Daystar, you're doing communication, you are just like a basic person, a normal, mm. a normal person. But so if you're, you're like special students yeah. in any way. Yeah. So special students were the ones doing MIS, computer science. <sighs> I get and it. I was like, I still want to be a few special. I was like, yeah. communications. Yeah. 
yeah, I guess. And then she's like, no, you need to think of your grades. Mm. From what I'm seeing, you're really failing in mathematics, physics, and all of that. Yeah. But you're doing quite well in the linguistics, social mm. studies, and all of that. How, how about you do communications? So communications, this uh, was divided in uh, four categories. PR, electronic, uh, print. Mm. What was that other thing? Maybe. No, you are. What was that other? Maybe three. Yeah. So she was like, okay, from these three, which one would you prefer? Yeah. I was like, let's go for for electronic. Mm. Again, we're winging it. You were like, okay, <laughs> I, I still want to yeah. have some PCs around, right? Yeah. yeah, we're winging it. I went in class, the very first class I went to, I, I was like, wow, I've been missing this all this time. And I think mm. that class was public speaking, public ah, speaking class. Yeah. And I went for that class and I was home. Immediately. Yeah. And that very first semester, I got two A's and my GPA from one point, I don't know what, yeah. it went straight to two something, two wow. points, four. And that was really good yeah. because now I was like, okay, I'm no longer on the probation list. Mm. Now mm. everybody's wondering, now the room in school was, I've mm. been weeded. Ah. But, I, but how come she's still going for classes? Mm. Because I hadn't told anybody I've changed courses. Yeah. I was just doing my thing because I didn't want anybody telling me left, right and center about mm. it or, mm. you know, because I remember, hey, I came here alone. Let me do this thing <laughs> alone. Yeah. yeah. Then after that... The rest, I guess, is history. I just needed to make sure that I shouldn't end back on that probation, yeah. probation list. Mm. And I realized that once I've changed this course, I needed to be the best that I, I, I could be. Yeah. And knowing um, the industry there and also the competition because yeah. there are so many people doing communication and so many people also wanting it so yeah. bad. Every journalist wanted to be the best journalist. Mm, and mm, I needed mm. to also make sure that I'm also competing with that kind the of same level. Kenyans, mm. that kind of level. And for you to also get an, a good internship in Kenya, yeah. you need to be extra, extra. Yeah. So, yeah. Quite, quite, quite a story, quite a story. So, <laughs> but you, you you still think that uh, that uh, registrar, right? For, for Oh, yes, definitely. Um, you guys are in touch? No, unfortunately. Find but, out. Uh, look at me. Yeah, <laughs> because no, no, now my lecturers, even, yeah. they still come in. Some of them send me um, messages. They call me their day star star in Malawi. <sighs> Because they didn't really think that I would become mm, who I am now. As mm. much as I was putting in the work, yeah. it was more like, oh, I think she just is doing it so she should get a degree and, yeah. and go. Not knowing that deep down, I really wanted to mm. to become the best at yeah. what I'm doing. I just didn't want to be basic. Because mm. I think from getting to to the point of always wanting to do something that was chobeba, mm. you know, from being wanting to be a doctor because... A doctor, you your baby. Trendy, your yeah. mom, you you be you be felt like uh, you are a successful person exactly. in the eyes of your mom. And yeah. also going for management information systems. I also wanted to be it's trendy, yeah. Yeah. So I was like, okay, so now we're doing communications. I still want to feel that I'm I'm, I'm mm -hmm. you know. So I worked really hard. I was like, okay, let's do this. That's yeah. amazing. Yeah. In your story, you always mentioned Tamara. Mm. Chafunya. Yeah. You have, you've ever met her? Yes. You told her you, you, you have been a fan all along? I think I did. Her husband even knows. <laughs> <laughs> I think I did. And I once told her because um, I was invited for an interview the time I came back to Malawi and I yeah. was doing, I was applying for so many jobs yeah. and she wanted an assistant. Mm. So when I went there, I told her, I was like, I, I'm not telling you so that you can pick me, <laughs> but I just wanted to let you know that this is my story and mm. seeing you on television and doing your thing, anchoring news, just mm. brought so much joy. And I just wanted to just, you know, be like you and stuff like that. Just seeing people on television, it was just like, mm. these are superhuman beings, yeah. you know? They cannot make any mistake. You can make any mistake, yeah, right? You're, you like, know, uh, you're, you're talking and mm. so gulakwi is such mm. as and you're just going so smoothly and so nicely, yeah. which is quite, I should say it's a it's a superpower for somebody to be gifted like that. Mm, and mm, that's mm. what I also wanted to mm. to to have yeah. as well. Yeah. So so she left you for the job. You did, she didn't pick you. She didn't pick me. <laughs> oh my God, Tamara, what she did you picked, do? She, she picked somebody else. Ah. But um Again, I think that was the purpose of where I was supposed to yeah. and who I'm supposed to be. Yeah. Mm. Your parents are still in the UK? Yes, my parents are still so in So you're all alone UK. in Malawi? Yeah. Oh my God. Yeah. How does it feel? I'm used now. I'm old. <laughs> <laughs> 
I'm I know, old. Yeah. I'm grown now. I'm, yeah. I'm gro- I've grown up. And I think the fact that um, I made that decision to tell my parents that my life needs to go on. Mm. I think that also still stuck to me uh, to say my life needs to go on. Yes. I cannot be stuck on, on one thing where I need to stay with my parents. I need to stay with my parents. But yeah. I need to make sure that I'm doing something for myself. Yes. For my life. For my own story. Very important. Yeah. ZBS. <laughs> Let's talk about how did you get to ZBS? How did I get to ZBS? Yes. Um, I think this is a story that I've always wanted to say. Yes. I now saw, let's talk about it. I saw an advertisement in the newspaper mm. looking for television presenters. Okay. So I think a lot of people think I got connections to yes. get to Zodiac. No, I saw an advertisement in the newspaper. Okay. And it was my aunt then when I came back to Malawi, my aunt was like, no, I'm Zodiac. I'm news. I mean, um, they want TV presenters. Mm. Just apply. And then I applied. Proper application. And you I know, went, we know. Mm, I went to Zodiac. I left it. Then By I hand? Left. Yes. Okay. Reception, I left it. And I left. Mm. Minding my own business, still going through the unemployment depression. Mm. I did it. <laughs> I did it. <laughs> because my 2017 was such a horrible year for me because mm. that was the, the year I was unemployed for the whole year. Mm. Then I remember I got a call for um, auditions. Yeah. And I was so happy, mm. but nervous. Yeah. And I went there and I had to do two scripts. My Chichewa is bad. Yeah. So the other one was in Chichewa, the other one was in English. Wow. And then I had to do another one for um, news reading. Yeah. Then I did, and I had one take only. Whoa. One take, which I feel for now when I'm seeing other people coming to Zodiac to yeah. do the auditions. Yeah. Like, even two takes, three takes. And You're I'm like, like, okay. Ah. We had it the hard way, right? <laughs> yes. And I remember I had one take, Chichewa English and News Anchor. Aye. Both. And after that, I was so worried. Mm. I was really worried. I was like, I don't think I did the, a good job. I don't mm. think I gave him the punch. Yeah. Because, you know, you can see somebody's reaction when you're doing the auditions. Yes. Like if they're nodding, that means, okay, I'm, I'm do- but there was nothing. There was no nodding. There was no smiling. I was Aye. just like. Who was that. on the panel that time? It was, people were in the other room. So there was somebody on the teleprompter. Oh my yeah. God. Yeah. So that person was just so serious. And the other people I couldn't see them. Oh. But then for me, I was like, there was after that, oh, thank you so much for coming. It was very professional. Hmm. Then I left. A few weeks later, and I think I remember I stayed for a month. And after that, I was like, ah, and she do it, yeah. yeah. That's gone. They yeah. haven't picked me. And I think they've picked somebody else. Um, then they called me for interviews now. Those were sit-in yeah. interviews from the auditions. Oh, oh. And to think, hey, I had to go through all this process, you know? Yeah. I went for the sit-in. And I remember there was job checkers are there. Yeah. There were other people, Twe Sangosi. And I think the other people are from the background. A lot of people wouldn't know them from Zodiac, Luke Tembo. Yeah. And, and and another person from admin, administration. Yeah. So they were interviewing me there. And I think the person that I got along with was Joab. During mm. that time I was doing the interviews, that was when Kenya had the elections. Mm. So the, the interview was based on how well I know about news. Wow. And especially with um, the elections happening in Kenya, ah. seeing that I was living ah. in Kenya. Oh, Yo, oh. so <laughs> I did try my best, did one, two, one, two. Then I, le- I left the interview. Yeah. Again, I was so worried. Mm. I stayed for two months. They didn't. What? Me. Yes. Two months. And I thought, ha, Chidweja, mm. that's it. And I started applying for, during that time, I was still applying for other jobs, still mm. doing. And I got a lot of people telling me, TV um, stations in Malawi don't pay well, whatever. Yeah. But at the back of my head, I knew what I wanted to do. Yeah. I knew I wanted to be on TV. Mm. Regardless of people telling me, corporate, corporates, uh, be a yeah. PR, you get so much Go money. There, make but a for lot me, of money in the it NGOs. has never been about the money. Yeah. It has been about knowing that I'm doing something that I love. And mm. I'm, I'm pretty much living a dream that, I thought I would never have. So your line manager can go over that part. You'll be like, oh my God, we have a never. person. <laughs> we have a person. Yeah. Oh my God. So I still was applying for the jobs and stuff. I was like, yeah. okay, easy, easy, easy. Then I remember one time that was New Year's of mm. 2017 going into, into 2018. Zodiac didn't have a presenter for their show. I think a crossover show from... Yeah. And I was sick. I had a, a stomach bug. Yeah. Then they called me. They were like, Priscilla Carrera, you did auditions. 
we just want to see if you can come and and you know do this program for me it what? was yeah we, we just want to see if you can come and i'm like have i gotten the job or yeah, like what is happening what is this happening but then my mom told me no just go and see how it's going to be mm. and i went there and i remember i stayed there from 10 o'clock till 2 a.m. you did the crossover did the crossover program a person who was coming from outside outside um and after that it was done and i went back home z Oh. I felt used, man. Oh. I felt really used. I was like, oh, is this how, is that? Is this how Malawians do their thing? Did they pay you for that? For that no, I, actually, they didn't pay me for for anything. But again, for me, I was just happy that I yeah. got the experience and yeah. I got to go there. But then when I thought about it, I was like, okay, how do I even include this? If I don't get the job, if I don't start working for Zodiac, how do I include this into my Your CV story is, and yeah. my profile? Mm. Luckily, January went. February now they called me. Mm. They want you to come in and start working and I'm like I got the job. Oh, How many months of waiting? Oh. I got the job and oh, no connections gosh. or whatsoever. It was me that put myself on from oh, like my god. They got get go. So when I got the job I I I realized that I came here Deka. There's so many superstars here at Zodiac. Yeah. What can I do to make myself feel that special feeling that yeah. I always wanted to feel? Yeah. So yeah, I started. I just started working, working, working. Consistency, I feel like, is one of the biggest things that has helped me wow. to to be where I am. Because every single time I see something, I've always, I always like, let me go and shoot. Yeah. Let me go and and, and hear. Yeah. Let me find out this. Let me do that. Let me do that. So I was just pushing myself to. Hmm. Yeah, here we are. So your story is crazy, Sam. Like it's crazy in a way, yeah. <laughs> because if you look at it. Uh, that kind of recruitment. Hey, what organizations do that? I don't want to. I don't want to disagree this, but I don't. <laughs> <laughs> Come on, that's almost like a. I don't know. You almost like a year, yeah, in a way, right? Yeah. Are you doing interviews? Yeah. No, 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 no. So from the, the the gaps were just too wide. Yeah. From me applying, uh-huh. another gap to going for the auditions, auditions another, another gap. gap going for the interviews another, another gap, gap then actually being called that you have gotten the job yeah so i don't know now i'm thinking all those applications are they going to eventually call me <laughs> <laughs> yeah but this is a good one i think that that part of the story shows me the uh your perseverance specifically during the time that you didn't have a job and you're yeah. looking for one yeah and then yeah for you to say uh the PR roles that you can get mm-hmm. and all you'll be doing is just write press statements yeah and then you sit there yeah. and two people call you okay your organization did abc like, hey ah. i'm not a desk person yeah no i don't like staying on the desk yeah no 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 no, no. cool uh, it's, it's a ghost story and uh so what what do you do as zodiac right now let, let me get it right um you present yes you just You present two programs, right? Three. Oh, three. Three. What are those? So I I do um social hub. Mm. I present social hub. Yeah. Sometimes also I do present sunrise sometimes mm. 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 when there's like nobody yeah. exactly. Um fresh on zodiac and mm. I have this uh, program called top styles. Top styles. Yeah. Fresh is your thing. I think uh after Ruth then you came to you, right? Yeah. In a way. Yeah. Right. You 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 vibe with Ruth? Yes. Mm. Yes. Like a mentor? No, no, mm. no, 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 not exactly. I don't think with her I got the opportunity to have a sit down with her. Yeah. Maybe because I was taking her program, it it kind of was like um I'm I'm I'm, pick, I'm taking something that was how baby in a yeah, way. Yeah, that was something that she she got comfortable with yeah. and she knew. So I got that that program but not in any shady way. Mm. It was just okay, now she's developing to other greater things mm. as a woman mm. she has humanity she's focusing yeah, on that yeah good program yeah exactly she's focusing focusing on that mm. here i am i'm coming and i think for us to actually sweep rose she, because she was moving to blanta oh, yeah. that was the time she just got married yeah. so she moved to blanta and i got the role of uh, being the presenter for fashion so mm. yeah uh, i remember i had a problem at first um getting that program because yeah. a lot of people got used to seeing faith i mean ruth yeah. so now came me uh, i different, remember that different moment vibe. Oh, like, oh, oh. who is this girl yeah who is this girl making noise yeah and she's speaking so fast what's going on that time on? yeah people were talking that you're speaking so fast mm, we yeah. can't hear anything mm. so the person that mentored me a lot was nakali manjolo mm. uh, me and him it was cat and dog mm. so cuz mm. i used to constantly he's like what is on i'm in ruth i'm and I, i used to tell him but i'm not ruth, ruth. you need to get that i'm yeah. not ruth so let's work how i 
can be the best version of myself yes. to be the be- best version, to bring out the best version of this program. Yeah. Because now if I start imitating Ruth, I'll mm. look like a little minion, but mm-hmm. I don't want to be anybody's yeah. minion. I just want to be Priscilla. And mm. I think people, when they see it, me, they need to see Priscilla. They yeah. don't need to be seeing. I don't want to be living under Ruth's shadow. Yeah. So yeah. I, I, that's when I started now properly. You developing know, the yeah the training thing. myself and, mm. and and pretty much just getting into yeah into it. no you you have done so much with zodiac i think um if people your name will be a city if someone say priscilla people like, priscilla zodiac yeah i kind of feel like i'm a walking billboard for zodiac <laughs> hey. hey if i don't if i'm walking if yeah. somebody i just hear zodiac i just yeah. know they're mentioning my name oh my god I just know that they're mentioning my name, which yeah. is okay. It's okay. Which is um, fine with me. I don't know what it it will be like once I leave Zodiac. Mm, I don't mm. know people will now be calling me Priscilla Wajan. Yeah, Priscilla Zodiac. <laughs> but let's talk about <laughs> women working in in TV, right? Mm. In in that space, mm. um, how does it feel? Because I'm talking to you from from a perspective of um, uh, I've heard right that people that work in that space, uh, specifically women, they find it hard because there's so much pressure. Every time when women are are being described, specifically in the TV area yeah. um, or maybe entertainment of radio and so forth, mm. there's always this kind of challenges that they face. What are the challenges that you have encountered working in TV? Uh, well, I don't know. Let me see. There are quite a lot. Yeah. Maybe some of them, I don't look at them as challenges. Mm. Uh, I look at them as part of the process. Yeah. Part of uh, making who I'm supposed to be. Yeah. Um. If I call it a challenge, now it's going to be a problem. Yeah. But I don't like to call it a challenge. I call it part of the process of mm. who I am. Um. So most of the times I don't really think about them like yeah. that. But I think I think this is a challenge. Mm. But the challenge comes in the way I think we are treated. Mm. I will give a good example of say I'm supposed to go and cover um, Sun Music Festival. Yeah. Or Lake of Stars. Yeah. I'm a, I'm a woman yeah. now. I need a, a proper place to sleep. Yes, a, very important. To rest. It's a very important yeah. conversation. Yeah. I need a, a, a team. Mm. Um, okay, I'm going to give an example of um, I'm hosting. Mm. I need a team if I want to get dressed. Mm. Johnny, I need somebody to help me with that. Mm. Um, a lot of people do not understand that. Mm. So when you're telling them that, oh, but how come Zach or Blackjack can just do this? But that's a guy. Yeah, that's a guy. Uh, you do and know, if it's security. Mm-hmm. Because do it's you know Blackjack important. can just sleep on, on, on this couch and he wakes up and he's just going to wash his face and he goes, nobody yeah. will ask him. In fact, Blackjack does do that. It's <laughs> Blackjack. <laughs> <laughs> no, he said it. I didn't say it. You know, one way for me, I need a proper rest. I need to go change. I need yeah. to look presentable because what people see is what they want to get. Mm. But they do not want to pay for for what they see. Yeah. I hear you. Yeah. It's crazy. So those are some of the, I think some of the challenges. Another thing is just maybe the way the treatment is, there's a lot of bullying when it comes to women in the industry. Yeah. Um, you, you see the same things that people like to comment on women. They cannot go comment on. It's a thing. On Dana broken English's post. Yeah. They cannot comment the same thing on, on, on hyphens post. Yeah. They cannot on, on, but then when it comes to say Sanji, um, myself, mm. uh, Gina, Ruth Kulaisi, you've mentioned, mm. they are f- so free to go and comment rude things, go and mm. comment anything, mm. which is quite very unfair, Yeah, I, I should say, because nowadays I'm seeing Kudi, it's becoming a habit. It's, yeah. it's growing each day by day, Yeah, which is really bad because we're all human beings. Yeah. We get to two different treatments yeah. all together. It's crazy. I, I've noted that, of course, it happens everywhere, but I think the case of Malawi, mm. uh, with how uh, the tabloids like Migozi have created more like forces or communities where if there's a story, uh, people jump into it yeah. and the people tag each other and they create. Yeah. Uh, hours of conversations. And I wonder, uh, how, how do these people make money yeah. uh, if they are there always? I'm going to talk about this cyberbullying yeah. in the ne- next topic because okay. uh, I feel like you have suffered enough. Oh. <laughs> you need to tell your story. But... Remove me from the shackles. <laughs> and... Yeah, but let's talk about TV still. Mm. There is now the growing of social media, right? Yeah. I can just jump in. This is a podcast right now. Uh, years ago, 2018, this was nothing. We, yeah. You didn't broadcast in Malawi. People were doing that, mm. but not on TV, having all lights and stuff. Yeah. Now people are doing it. Yes. TikTok live, yes. Facebook live. Yes. 
what do you think about the future of uh, of TV um, in this perspective? I think because Malawi as well, I'm going to talk in terms of us because we're in Malawi. Yeah. And uh, this is our industry altogether. Yeah. We are trying to catch up, mm. but we're not trying at the right pace. Yeah. Because... Now everything. This is why you have, if you have noticed, there's so much Zodiac now. Just they're putting the programs on Facebook. Mm. You see, they're using Facebook to broadcast things mm. because they know that not everybody is sitting at home watching TV. TV. I if don't you're know. sitting at home watching TV, you're watching Netflix and yes. you're watching movies. But if you want to know the state of the nation and all of those things, you have to go on your phone. Mm. Hence, why now they're trying to incorporate television too social media as yeah. well. But I don't know if we are going to still keep it up mm. with the way our service providers, internet service providers are in the country. Yeah. But yeah, I feel like at this Pangono Pangono, we are still grasping what we need to do and how we can also be part and of the growing technology yeah. at the same time. Yeah, because sometimes I feel like the new media is stealing the show. Yeah. In a way. Um now if people want Zodiac, for instance, I'm not gonna I'm not dissing Zodiac and I don't want to say that. Zika Chitiga, Timavira Zodiac. Yeah. Now Zika Chitiga to Pokavira You see, that kind of thing, right? So there's that kind of competition. Yeah. And I believe um places like uh you, your institution, the institution that you, you work for mm. uh are doing so much in terms of uh, the research and whatever. Yeah. And, and I've seen it, yes. Mm. There there's a lot of um broadcasting yeah. on, t- on on social media mm. to make sure that they're everybody is engaged yeah, yeah yeah it's just strange sometimes when you go there like okay let me watch you i find program <laughs> which is good yeah. oh, like, oh, i'm not gonna stay here and watch because, this yeah, because now you see um people are seeing how uh, facebook yeah. and social media has a, a great impact yeah than the power. just putting it on television mm. because now a lot of uh, sponsors a lot of people that want to Put their you know products out there. They prefer okay. Yes. Yes. Because they know they want to get those two different targets: mm. television mm. as well as yeah. Facebook. I hear so you. Yeah. So okay. like, okay, I'm gonna you sit never here. Know. <laughs> uh, yeah, but it's it's all good lessons, right? Mm. It's all good lessons. It's just seeing the transition. Yeah. But I think. Uh, I don't know, but if if media doesn't um, this platform doesn't catch up, I see the growth of uh, platforms like Yourselves, these ones yeah. um, taking over mm. because of I don't know. But it's it's an interesting journey for Malawi. Yeah, because uh, you see um, the thing about um, the industry that we are in, this platform, everybody yeah. gets to write their own story yeah. the best way they feel like yeah. they know how. So for for example, we have a discussion here. It will not be the same discussion that's gonna be. Yeah, this is. A you're thing. going to take your angle, mm. and um, another, you know, podcaster will take their angle. Yeah. So we are giving people a diverse. Uh, True. Yeah, diverse. Audience organizer, many akufunina kuganizira, depending yeah. on what and where they're getting this information. Interesting, Chichewa. Audience organizer, many Oh my God. <laughs> Don't don't start. Aish. Don't start. But you're Kaira. Do you I speak Tumbuga? No, uh, at Aish. all. Imagine if you could speak Tumbuga. Yeah, I speak a bit of Swahili, just a little bit. Just a, because of Kenya, right? Of course. Yeah. But hey, my chair. Eh. But we're getting there. No, you get there. You get there. Yeah, um, there. let's talk about people that you have interviewed. You have interviewed everyone. Yeah, not everyone. I haven't <laughs> interviewed Barack Obama. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> I haven't interviewed Burner Boy. Yeah, yeah. No, yeah, they haven't come to Malawi. If they if anyone comes here is an entertainment person, they have to meet you. Yeah. And, and I don't know how it feels, man. If you hear uh any artist coming, you're like, okay, they're coming to me. <laughs> No, no, no. I don't really think like that. Like, yeah. I'm not, I don't sit down saying, okay, um, an international artist is coming. Obviously, they're going to come to me. No, I actually work for those things. You do? I pull the strings myself. Huh. I actually go through the dirt. And if I was to tell you some of the stories that I've experienced, just I love to stories. Get I love stories. To interview Give me these one. artists, yeah. it will be so bad. And mm. some of them are. I remember there was an artist that lied to me that they are at a specific place, but they were not there. Oh. And I drove all the way there with my team only to find these crickets. What? And they were at some other place. Nemo, the I've gotten these experiences before. I love the name of the artist who did that. Yeah? 
who made you drive all the way and am, am, I, am I am I am I am I This is the podcast. Make, am yeah. I supposed to mention this here? <laughs> we we drop names. They're going to kill me. No, 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 it's true. <laughs> it happened. It's a story. It was patience Namadingo. Oh, dog. <laughs> dog. Go on, dog. Go on. And I was so disappointed. Like, oh, dog, my, you're my country. Yo, yo, yo. I was so sad. I drove yeah. all the way and calling calling the manager they're not picking up only for the manager to be like oh sorry and i'm like sorry is not gonna cut it yeah. you should have just said the truth we don't yeah. want any media we don't want to be interviewed mm. i am not a person that's going to force you to do to, to so to sit so down. this is how everyone does it right because i was supposed to interview lawi right uh his team reached out to me i uh, want Lawi on the podcast i was like okay let's up where, where should we do it are we gonna come at your place give them the map the day they were supposed to come uh no can you come where we are Okay, fine, guys. This is inconvenience. I need to pull my thing. Yeah, yeah. We went there. The guy never picked my call. Yeah. And then it happened like that. I'm like, okay. And the another day, we waited. We're like, okay, we're shooting. The guy yeah. never comes and keeps on changing. Come on, I'm wondering. Yeah. Why do people do this? It's part of the process. Ah. I'm <laughs> like, okay, to, fine. You need to go through the process. Nah, nah, I'm like, no, no, I don't care. <laughs> this, like, is, uh, this is how you now understand that uh, not everybody. Um, is the same. Yeah. You know, for you you're thinking I'm trying to give you a platform, I'm yeah. trying to sell whatever it is that you're selling. Yeah. But ubanga's money is in the way. That means you do not want it. So I I will leave it. That means you do not want it. Mm. And at that particular until we mean I've yeah. never reached out. That's the thing. Like like the, the team uh, I know they're going to watch this. They the team are like they reached out and never responded like guys yeah. yeah. I there are quite a couple things. of artists I've tried to reach out and they have disappointed me. Mm. Malawian artists. Malawian artists, yes. but they know that you're performing yeah, big. Yeah, so you I'm hold just, the best performing in Malawi. I, I, and I'm like, but I don't think I even ask controversial questions unless I need You to don't. Ask. If they so, would come here, I would ask them about uh, their girlfriend uh, and stuff, uh, but uh, not you. Yeah, I don't. For me, I really want to get to know about your music yeah. and about your journey, but mm. not your personal story. That's mm. something else. Mm. But other artists, I've gotten them. But when, even these international artists, when they come. Yeah. Dima I am a week or two weeks before talking what? to the organizers. Yeah, I, need, I thought I thought it's, it's it's just an obvious no, thing. No, 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 no. I need to start because some of some of the organizers feel like, hey, I'm a color busy journey. Mm. Hey, you know. So yeah. it's like no, but they are here for a job. Mm. Remember, you're paying yeah. them to come here. Yeah, yeah. So the part of their job is if you've told them, Kudi, you're going to do interviews. Mm. They need to do interviews. Mm. One thing that I don't like with Malawian organizers when they have these big artists, I'm a nyengerela. So when they come here, that's the thing. Like, you're paying them, but this- yeah. So I'm constantly reminding them, but you are paying these yeah. people. This is their job. If yeah. they don't show up, it's like you're not showing up to office. Yeah. Why you didn't show up? Yeah. So these people, they come here, atoba, atoba. You're making a media ja wait. A media so atoba. Yeah, and how 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 media is treated in Malawi is crazy. It's, it's really bad. Ay! It's really bad. Like people are meant to stay somewhere. It's really bad. Stay for a long time, no food, mm-hmm. nothing, mm-hmm. and then you are you are told. So after that, you you bang interview. Yeah, the same organizers. Ha, I'm afraid of footage. I'm afraid of footage. And then they've forgotten the way they treated you. Mm. They've forgotten. Was Mrs. I was in the bus. Yeah. And yeah. and sometimes people feel like you owe them that. Mm-hmm. You owe them the interview. Yeah. You owe them. You have to give it to them as mm-hmm. as, as long as yeah. uh, you are there, you're supposed yeah. to do it. Yeah. It's crazy. So I, I do the run around. You should see me one of these days. This I is do. funny. Yeah. Because all along I thought uh everyone who's going who's going to Malawi entertainment wise, if there's a festival, mm. people are reaching out to say, please. But are that's you because booked? I've created that myself. Mm. I've created that myself. I yeah. haven't had anybody create it for me. Yeah. I've created myself. If I wanted to be that, I've mm. made sure that I am that. No, no, no. You, you have created a brand, right? Yeah. yeah. So I don't care whether I'm running around, I'm a bother. Mm. But as long as I get that interview, that's mm. good for me. Yeah. It's that's good, good for, for me. And it's also good for you as much as you don't see it. It's also good for you, but it's good for me. So I do the run around. I'm still doing the run around. Up to now. Up to now. Oh my God. I still do the run around. Oh, it's crazy. <laughs> uh, it's crazy. Like, yeah. um, are, are you interviewing a busy signal? I hope I do. You hope you do <laughs> Let right? me do the run around. <laughs> oh, sh- what I have to do now is I'll start calling Wendy. Mm. Where is busy signal going to, to stay? Mm. Um, how is his schedule like? Hey. I want an interview with him. So I have to go to the studio, mm. make sure that I get equipment. I go to where he's staying. So mm. if he's staying at BICC, now mm. I have to go to BICC. Mm. Wait for him. Nice. Ask him nicely. I'm um, I want to do an interview with you. Yeah. Johnny, humbly asking. Yeah. If he says no, what else can I do? Hey. 
It's crazy. Yeah. I don't know. Uh, it's, it's, it's tough being you in, in that context because every time you're thinking about who's, who, you, who you're going to get and most of these people you're spoken to, you're spoken to, to almost every upcoming mm. vigilant. Yeah. Right? So you're like, okay, who is the next big thing yeah, right now? Yeah. And you go hunting like that. Yes. No, it's just it's, it's huge. Yeah. It's huge. So I think for, for people that see me, they just like the way you're thinking, Kudi, oh, when they come, Priscilla, mm. no, 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 no. I'm still working. You fight for I, it. I still fight for it. And mm. I don't think there will be a point where I'll stop. I, I hope I hope TV pays enough, right? Because that kind of work is, is a lot of work. Mm. Does it do pay? Does it pay now? It's all right. It's all right. <laughs> the lights are it's on. A, it's all right. The lights are on. <laughs> <laughs> it's all right. Okay. It's okay. No no other TV has ever tried to to, to uh, get you from, t- from Zodiac? No, mm. no, no. I think it's a, it's a small industry here. Huh? It is small. And I think also, um, I feel like every TV station has their person. That's the thing. So if, if, for, thing. if, if they call me to Daily uh, N- Nation, Times. Yeah, like Times. There's Black Jack there. There's Black Jack. What am I going to be doing there? Oh that means it's going to be me and him. Yeah. Like, So every TV station has their person. So if they're calling me to another uh, TV station, maybe they're just trying to put the other person on their toes. Mm. Mm. Which I highly doubt. Mm. Which I highly doubt. No, that's crazy. But yeah, I I, I hope, I hope. uh, Have you thought of international gigs? Like uh, maybe working in Kenya? Yes, actually, my career at this particular time, I really want to go international and that's Mm. where I want to push so much. I don't know if you have seen... Um, I got the Zikomo Award. That's a nomination. thing. That's a thing. Yeah. That's the path that I want to be taking. Mm. Are, you, are you the only Malawian go- who got that? <clears throat> at first, this is actually, I don't know if I have to <laughs> say this story. At first, yeah. I got the, the first contact with the Zikomo people. Mm. So um, I heard about it. Then I applied. Mm. When I, I had applied, the first time they said you needed to make a, a poster that yeah. these, nominate me on these categories. Yeah. But because they got so many nominations, my poster wasn't coming through. Mm. So I went, they put a template. I took the template and I, I gave it to one of um, the graphic designers and they did put. Yeah. So when I put it on social media, their website went crazy. Where is it best? It's in Lusaka. Lusaka. Lusaka, Zambia. No. Pazedi 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 Pazedi. Pazedi. It's interesting. So, yeah. Question on the on the artist. Uh, mm. Let's just close this one. Mm. Um, who is the artist that you interviewed and you were happy like this was this was fine. This was nice. This was good. Let's start with Malawian. Um, Malawian. Yeah, the vibe was good. You enjoyed the set. They didn't give you trouble. The vibe. Malawian. Yeah. Yeah, I think I've interviewed a lot of people. It's like let's remember one. The interview that comes to your head. That I still remember. Yeah. Yo, Yo. this is hard. <laughs> this is hard. Mm. Oh, you're putting me on the mic. <laughs> this is really hard. Um, it's okay. It's okay. I think I'm, I'm okay. You. I, I still really can't think of a name. Eh? You can't figure okay. International? International artist must be Saudi Soul. Saudi Soul. It was yeah. good, right? That was a good vibe. Yeah. Oh my goodness. That was yeah. a good vibe. Saudi Soul was, I think, one of the best um, conversations that I ever had. Yeah. And they were very open enough. Mm. Um, yeah. Maybe because they had uh, smoked something. But was, uh, <laughs> <laughs> yeah, those guys are crazy. Uh, yeah, here. Yeah, yeah, Let's yeah. talk about the changes of women in the space. Uh, oh, not women, but you as a person, as a creative. As a, an influencer, as TV personality, and they're like, there was a thing with Wendy some time back. Wendy. Yeah, it seems you wrote something. I don't know, you complained something about... Sun Festival. Sun Festival, yeah. yeah. And I think she went all in on you. What happened that time? I don't know if she replied to me. I never saw. Mm. But um, I still feel sorry about that story till today. Yeah. It's one of the stories. I've never gone to a Sun Music Festival after that. Mm. It was a very traumatizing experience for mm. me. Um, and for it to be twisted the way it was twisted to mm. today, I mm. still don't understand. Mm. Um, so let's get the story. You went to Sun Music Festival. I went to Sun Music Festival yes. as a media person. Mm. As I went with Zodiac. Yeah. I did not go with my friends. Mm. Mm. I went with Zodiac, a media mm. camera person and my producer, Nakali. Yeah. Um, I remember we went there. We went there around eight o'clock. Mm. That was on Saturday. Yeah. 
we went there to Africa and uh, we went to Sunbird Goja. Yeah. See, come on, Kalia, campsite. Yeah. That's where the festival happens, isn't mm. it? We went there. Then, I don't know. He probably Dennis, never Dennis is in the studio. You've never been? I've never gone to Sun. <laughs> you I've, should. I've heard bad stories. <laughs> <laughs> You should. So we stayed there for quite some time. I yeah. think a good one hour. Then it started raining. Yeah. So before it started raining, one of my colleagues, an accountant at Zodiac. Mm. So Zodiac and Sun Music Festival have a partnership agreement okay. where they give a couple of tickets to Zodiac members mm-hmm. and some of them go to, to Sun Music Festival. Actually, a lot of Zodiac um, staff love going to Sun Music Festival. It's their thing. Mm. So we went there. So one of my colleagues told me, could you still have lost my phone? And I see that you're going backstage. Can you please go and tell one of the MCs that mm. that's where it's a phony? Mm. And the MC that time, Anari Matumbi. Mm. So in a rush, I went there. I told this guy, yeah. I told him, I'm just going to ask, uh, the phone, yeah. The phone, I'm going to come back. And mm. then I told Matumbi, the moment I was telling Matumbi, it started raining heavily. Mm. Then I ran Ugabanga hide go back yes. backstage kunali tent. Yeah. Mm. Then there was this drunk man. Because mm. I just stood next to I remember there was Nathan Chunes, mm. Ashina Tay Green, and mm. So I just stood there. I didn't I don't remember even saying hi. I just said hi to Nathan. I didn't say hi to anybody. I just stood there and it was raining. So this drunk man comes. Who are you? What are you doing here? So for me, I'm mm-hmm. like, I'm Priscilla, I'm from Zodiac. Dressed like this. So was oh, oh. you know, a minister. Then I'm like, I was very confused. You know, I was like, oh, what's oh. going on? It's raining heavily. So one of the bouncers just heard, "Who are you?" Dressed like that. He grabbed me. Oh. He physically grabbed me and started shaking me. Oh. What are you doing here? And this guy, just out of this place. It's raining, mind Whoa. you. And this guy pushed me outside the the tent. Oh my God. Then I go Maromuja. Nathan, we just now are on. In what are you guys doing? Mm. Next thing, this guy is like, "Oh no." Sorry, Jen, Jen, Jen. Me and my tears just took myself out of that place. I was like, Nanyo Akale, mm. let me not embarrass myself. Oh I my left. God. Then I went and I told Nakali, I've been pretty much, that was harassment. You were harassed so. physically. I, yeah, I was yeah. like, pretty much, I'm like, I'm just, you just give me the car keys. I don't want to shoot. Mm. We hadn't started shooting, man, mm. because we were like, oh, the rain, Jen, 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 I don't yeah. want to shoot. I want to go home. Mm. No, he gave me the car keys. I went inside the car. I slept at around five o'clock. He came back. We drove back to Lenongo. Oh my God. Then I wrote on Twitter. I was like, it's pretty much for me. I was like, what an experience. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I wrote on Twitter and I complained that I was chased out of the back um, backstage because apparently I wasn't dressed right. Mm. Only for one of the, I think the organizers, her name is also Priscilla. Mm. She said, you're a liar. You just want to get attention. Oh my God. Hey, Kunali, Antoasika Nambimbi, Dukunyanja, Kumeni Koko, Kunasika Nambimbi, and Nava Mabam Shot, why you? Mm. Then I asked, I was like, but you don't know because. What actually not, happened? Yeah, you were not there. Mm. It was this drunk person that mm. started everything. So I called, somebody called me because now that tweet blew up. Mm. It blew up so much. Now people that already hate me were rejoicing, of course. Yeah. They rejoiced. Hey, yeah, I'm not going to pay attention in second a minute. And I'm like, what attention would I want from Sun Music mm. Such a big show like this. Why yeah. would I want to just all of a sudden drive this attention from, to me? Mm. And at mm. that time, mm. I didn't even know that people were already complaining about the festival. Mm. And mm. I was just mm. complaining to what had happened to me. Yeah. So that happened. And I went back to the office. I reported and I told them I never want to say anything to do with Sun Music Festival yeah. on my show. Yeah. Even me. Mm. Then my boss told me, no, just let it go. I'm like, no, I'm not going to let it go. Yeah. If I had gone with my friends. That mm. would That's a be. different conversation. But I went yeah. there with an institution, mm. Zodiac. And I've been pushing these guys. Mm. Last two years, I've been going to Sun Music Festival. Mm. Covered them. Did interviews there. Interviews still air. Mm. Then uh, my boss was like, unfortunately, when I felt Nagalemba complained mm. as an institution, festival, which yeah. never happened. Oh. Which never happened. But it was just dwelt with, I think, ah. but till today, I haven't gotten any apology. Till today, I haven't, I was just like, but I guess it's in my Nah. And that's yeah, how bad, that's how bad the industry is. Yeah. Because that is not a norm uh, that has to be entertained. Mm. Specifically for a lady who is going there, mm. At night, right? Yeah. 
and you shooting, you are there in a capacity of an institution and you're harassed, mm. no apology from anyone. Nobody. Yeah, Nobody. that's crazy. Yeah. yeah, I wanted to hear this story because I've heard about it. And sometimes I wonder why people do this mm. uh, specifically to reporters. Yeah. As I told you about, I said about the harassment that reporters mm. get. And that's crazy. Yeah. Yeah, but I'm glad that it passed. And it did here pass. We are. Yeah, I'm good now. I moved on from it. I, yeah. I, I'm a person that does not really dwell on negativity a yeah. lot because it doesn't look nice on my face. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It, doesn't, it doesn't. So I moved past it. But yeah. that's that was a lesson that I I learned that mm. the energy that you give, uh, don't expect the same energy back. Yeah. So that's when I also realized as a brand myself, mm. I need to also start protecting myself. Yes. Um, and knowing the person, the people that I associate myself yeah. with. That's when I took a step back. Yeah. That's why I've never gone to Sun Music Fest. I don't I don't have any hate. Mm. I, I want to interview Lucius, by the way. So but I, I say I've said it several yeah. times. Like uh, I've heard about the EU treatment. Mm. I think they need to learn from other established um uh uh events. Mm. Uh, that have these all safeguarding elements put in place, yeah. uh, reporting mechanism that are functional, yeah. not by face. Okay, if you are harassed, go this. That that will work because this is where uh, things get wrong. Yeah, um, because yeah. I think the other thing is, reporters are the ones that actually give a face to, yeah. to, to a product. Yeah. I, I call um, these festivals a product mm. that is being sold in different countries. Mm. They put a face to it. So yeah. the moment that you, you, you treat them somehow, they'll give you a bad face. That's a thing. And it's so easy. And also, I, I, um, I've noticed that I think most of the reporters here are all very scared to, to, to do that. That's a thing. To say, good, if I say something negative, nobody, it's going to jump. I'm not uh, going to get any gig. Uh, uh, you, you know, because that's what I used to get, especially when I see something wrong. I used mm. to complain. Mm. Um, say, good, this is not the way things are supposed to be. Yeah. I complained about that situation because I, I, I needed somebody to, to sit down and to act and say, mm. Woody, okay, I know Woody is into Znala mm. but next time, how do we make sure that things But a fellow okay. woman there attacks you. Attacked me. You're looking for... Mm -hmm. Attention. Oh, my God. Uh, I was not Le supposed to be in the backstage. Did they investigate? Johnny. I don't know. I don't really care whether they did or yeah. not. Yeah. Anyway, it's crazy. Mm. Uh, I'm always excited um, about, about success of people. But every time we're talking about stuff here... You're raising your hands and I see I'm not, the ring. Uh, I'm not raising it so you guys can see no, 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 if you no, want to. No, 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 no. <laughs> like I've seen uh, Lacey, right? Mm. The artist who got engaged. Yeah. Every time she's doing a photo, I'm wearing it. That hand is there. <laughs> I'm like, gosh, man. It's just Zimongo Gigi. Zimongo Gigi. Yeah, I get it. I get it. Yeah. But yeah, how did you meet this guy? I, okay. I want to hear you pronounce Oh, the name is Romulade, right? Yeah. Romold. Ramod. Yeah. Hey, I struggle to mention his name, <laughs> I man. I hear a lot of people do. Hey, hey. <laughs> Ramod, I haven't met yeah. him, uh, but yeah. Uh, how did you meet this guy? How did he meet me? That's the... <laughs> I don't know, man. He, made, he saw me on stage, actually. What? I was hosting UMP Awards uh, uh. in Blanta. So he saw me there. Uh. And apparently he told his friends, I'm going to marry this girl. Sure. And I didn't know, I didn't know anything. Uh. Yeah, he, and then his story is like, hi, you saw me, you even looked at me. And you smile and you walk. Like, I was like, I think I smile at everybody. <laughs> but okay. <laughs> For him, he was like, that was my first That, that was my, mm -hmm. my green light. Mm -hmm. like, uh, uh, yeah. Then after yeah. that, he, he went, he, we have mutual friends. Mm. I, actually, I've never met him until that time. I didn't even know this person existed yeah. in this earth. Mm. So he, he went to my friends, Gilbert and Timmy. Mm. So Timmy was like, ah, you are Priscilla. That's our boy. What do you mean? Uh, Let's hook you uh, up. So Timmy contacted me and Gilbert. Mm. And they were like, I you want to know I get rude? He's I to, Yeah, he's trying to get in there. What's up? Uh, then I was like, send me his pictures. Uh, then I, I was like, eh, <laughs> in Malawi. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> in Malawi, send my number through. Uh -huh, uh -huh. <laughs> and the rest is history. Cool. Yeah. Oh, but yeah, I think you, you're getting married, right? Yes, I am. When is it dead? Is it set? 20, 29 October. 29th of October. Yeah. I'm, I'm excited for you. I'm excited myself. Yeah. When yeah. I saw, when I saw the, um, a... the ring, right? The whole proposal thing. 
Now, I was excited. And I believe in family. Yeah. I believe in family. Uh, and most of the times, people that you you guys, like, who work in the mainstream, mm. uh, your face is everywhere. People don't associate you with... Um, marriage. Marriage. That's well, a good cons- one. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Even pregnancy. Yes. Yeah, yeah. They yeah. want you just to be that slave, right? Yeah, yeah. And yeah. have yeah. Active scandals. Yeah. Put, put names on, on, on you. I feel like people are just like putting dirt mm-hmm. because you are in the limelight. So in the they, limelight. Like, yeah. Okay, I think dirt is what you need to have yeah. for us to feel okay and continue mm. with our narrative. Yeah. So marriage and even getting pregnant because I think for me, I, mm. I even thought to myself, I was like, mm. so what if I start building a family? Does mm. that mean I'll have to stop doing what I do? Yeah. Like they'll fire you at, at like, ah, uh, we, we don't want me, a, se, a pregnant like, host here. Yeah. Uh, uh, uh. And then another question is, why do we have to put a lip? Age limit to entertainment and music. Mwakula musi kubanga nyimbo mbeleke. Mwakula musi because now I'm having a hard time. People asking me, "Are you still going to be hosting gigs after you get married?" <sighs> but that reminds me what the 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 the, the post yekalawe <laughs> on my uh, kumwenda's wedding mm. when she's saying that ah. Uh, he started telling the guy Mbwana, right? I think I don't know the first name. Mm. Like, ah, don't impregnate my. Because Mwai is a national asset. If you play that Mwai, she's not going to play mm. uh, the national team. So we're going to be losing. <laughs> yeah, yeah. <laughs> so I think people limit people that, women that are successful mm. are so limited uh, to settling down. Yeah. Because every gig will be like, ah, oh, I remember some book. Mm. Uh, mm-hmm. uh, something like that, yeah. right? And yeah, what that, that, that's a lot of pressure, right? It is. And yeah. I think it's a very bad bad thing to to do and yeah. as people we need to get out of that mentality of thinking mm. just because so entertainment mm. <laughs> why people. can we do the same things to beyonce she has mm. like three kids mm-hmm. and still she's gigging. still gigging yeah you know yeah like, you know, dj zinsley they're still yeah. going for you know gigs mm. djing yeah. but here in malawi i don't know we, we, we're still making it. We're still making it. Every time someone, specific a girl, uh, is pregnant as a kid, uh, is regarded as um, someone who was waguga, wafufa. Yeah. You have lost the you have lost the value. The girl who's impregnating so many women around is a, is a champion. Yeah. It's a bad narrative. Uh, that is patriarchal. Yeah. I'm a gender person, so let me preach that. It's, yeah. it's a patriarchal mentality that mm. is wrong yeah uh toxic masculinity in one way or the other it's a very toxic toxic yeah 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 but let's talk about your scandal because i'm not gonna leave this focus without asking you about the scandal of course <laughs> everyone is jumping on this one and uh, usually uh people want to hear about these things but mm. i want you to talk about it. i've looked around yeah to look at your story mm. apart from a pure assignment that i came through this other time yeah it's all mesh or saga mm. in your version what do you want people to know? I think in my version, not I think. Mm. I don't want people to know anything, actually. Mm. Um, I think also because that story came out from somebody telling somebody. Is it? Text messages. Forwarded text messages. Is it? Yes. Somebody. And then people were like, oh, there are videos. Where are the videos? Mm. Oh, there are pictures. Where are the pictures? Mm. This is a text message that somebody said. The next thing, it went on social media. Mm. So for us, we were like, ah. I remember that day because I was even having a bad day. Yeah. And then my, my friend Gilbert was like, don't go on Twitter. Mm. Then I was like, why shouldn't I go on Twitter? He's yeah. like. Something has happened. Just don't go on Twitter. Yeah. And I was at work. When I went on Twitter and I remember, never about Twitter and I found 50 plus notifications. Aye. And I'm like, what's going on? And I'm looking through messages. And yeah. Women. And I'm like, what's the story? Yeah. And, uh, what's going on? Then I called a remote and I'm yeah. like, what's happening? Mm. He's like, I'm also trying to find out what's going on. Mm. So now he, him, he's upset. He's like, I'm also trying to find out what's going on. Oh, yeah, yeah, he's upset because he's getting the yeah, story, right? Yeah. He's also getting the same thing, my tags, my, mm. my Ujeni, Zitun, Zichan. And then I broke down. I remember I had the worst week of my life. Yeah. I broke down. I couldn't even go to work. I couldn't do anything. And I'm like, 
why what's going on mm. why why is this story out like this yeah what have i done mm. i've never been rude to anybody yeah why is it that people are finding so much joy even big big companies using they were doing a yeah a castel, and i was like right? how is ridiculous <laughs> so outrageous like they was, were taking they were using the whole thing yeah and i'm like this is so outrageous this is mm. so mean and so bad because mm. People, big institutions like that, they're adding in into the cyber bullying of a person, an yeah. individual. You don't know what I was. I went through the worst, and I think I, me and Ramud started even going for therapy after that. Yeah. It was really bad. Uh-uh. The people really, it, we changed our numbers. Uh-uh. It was chaotic. And for us, what was really interesting was, even if you tell people, Woody, this is not true, mm. people didn't believe. Yeah, yeah, in the zone at these minutes. To who's and it's not true. Who are you to say yeah? yeah. So we just left it. We're like, you know what? Mm. At this particular time, Twitter fingers, let people say whatever they want. Yeah. To say. We know the truth ourselves. Mm. Let's live through it. But mm. the thing that we needed to hear was just the trauma that came out of it. Because that because was too much. It was very I don't think anybody, I don't know. I mean, other people have gone through what I went through. Mm. I don't think I've seen that. Mm. I've seen so many scandals happening in Malawi. So many? S- eh? So many scandals. Right? Yeah, but my issue was just outrageous. It drags up today. And I still don't understand. Gudi, Mwina Munduuze, guys, there's something that I have that I do not see that I have myself that gets people's attention going mm. and blood boiling to that point. And that story even makes me sad today. Mm. I lose jobs. I lose gigs, gigs yeah. because of that story. Because mm. even when you go on Google, all you see is that. If you, if you, if I type your name, yeah. which I did for my research of your, that, that story comes in as a top thing. Yeah. Um, and I wonder how your, your boyfriend handled it because for me, I'm like, oh yeah, that guy is a strong guy there. Huh? He protected me a lot and um, mm. I owe him my life. He protected me, he protected me, my friends protected me, mm. him himself as much as he was going through a lot of things, but yeah. he he realized how toxic mm. Malawi is. And I think he also realized, I think that was the point where he was like, I thought you were just my girlfriend. I didn't know Kuti a Malawi Yamagu Satida Chonchi. I think yeah. he he also realized how big I was with that story. That's mm. when now he take he took necessary precautions to protect me mm. and, and stuff. But till today, you cannot really, you know, stop people from talking. Yeah, you can't. You yeah, can't. You can't. So So that's that's what that's that's the narrative that we can get here. That's the narrative. I, yeah. I don't know what else to to well, people, people want to understand what <laughs> to, happened. To say like w- was there an action? Did you were you chatting with someone? Were you close with someone and people took advantage of that and then attributed it uh to that. Uh, the other thing, which I find it sad, is even if someone, for instance, even if, uh, uh, let me use Dennis, uh, because he's here. So Dennis Iman is here uh, in the studio. Well, it's Dennis, right? Yeah. Has slept with 10 women, right? Mm-hmm. Even if he did, right? It has happened. Yeah. So what, so why, so what? what is your thing? That's, that's, that's a question that I ask. I know people will look at it in a different way, but what's your thing? Mm-hmm. If it happened, what's your thing? Yeah. Why are you involved? Yeah. It's like you're involved in every person who's having whatever that happened, yeah. right? So like, I I, it, I'm not a judgmental person. Yeah, I think it also made people happy just to find out something about my personal life, ah, which yeah. a lot of people don't have. Mm. So they, they were like, okay, now we get a little glimpse of Priscilla, mm. which is a false one. You got a wrong glimpse of who because Priscilla I is. Did, I, I even did know uh, your boyfriend until that story. Yeah. Because when that story came through, this one... Uh, I think your boyfriend was coming through and people knew him mm. more yeah. than that particular See, time. People were taking pictures, our pictures. Mm, and then and throw them we're, there. We're, we're open people, me yeah. and him. Mm. We we love each other out loud. Yeah. We are not scared to show each other that we love each other. We post our pictures. Mm. It's okay. Mm. We are not scared of what somebody is going to say. People yeah. are going to come attack you, whatever, whatever. Yeah. If we're just, we're living our lives the best way we want to live our lives. Yeah. So if that's something that makes us happy, yeah. we shouldn't stop just because somebody is going to create a story and say something. This person bad. who brought the story. We don't w- know who it is. Wasn't it from your circle? I don't know. So it was a screenshot without a number? It was a screenshot without a number. So all these years we've been talking about a screenshot without a number. Yeah, exactly. It was a screenshot. 
anacho sa anaidula eh hungo lemba ka conversation kama ni kuoka mtu ana mtu pangira forward mtu zake nde mtu huyo anango tenga ka screenshot iko ndo Uh, let's forwarded, let, let me those, get this. Those was forwarded messages. Let me get this right. For example, I send you a message. Yes. I get a message, then yeah. I forward it to you. Yeah. Right? Imagine, just. Just yes. <laughs> I send it to you. Just, just. Eh, you say that too. Eh. Um, I got a boyfriend. Waga na mpesa. Yeah. Wow. I need more to change. Yeah. They were like, eh, this is a juicy story. Hmm. Ungo tenga screenshot ija. Dukuta. Dukuto me. So ine ndi kwa zamu bolemba ndikani panopa. Um, so, so you just because oh this is such a interesting story yeah oh the houses in zanga wow can you get that yeah peter people even created youtube um you know i'm so defeated kukala pansi muntu nduguma i'm so defeated right now because we, we have been talking all these years we've been talking about a screenshot of the message yeah that doesn't have a number mm-hmm. to verify the source yeah ah Because even if you ask people today who yeah. told you this story they don't know. How do you get this story? Where did this story come from? They don't know. Where is the So group? this person can't own this story to say I can come on this podcast and, and say, also we don't know who this person is. Ah. Unless right now if you know the actual story maybe come to to the podcast and tell us your version. <sighs> I say do you know the which damage is, that this has caused you? Yeah, which is from, what hurts the most. From a screenshot That people ah no number no one to own the story nobody nobody to relate and at first i thought it was mikozi and i hated mikozi till today uh, um because they're the ones uh, i think that push the story kwambili and tima yeah tima uje ni kwambili and dani malawi 24 and mm. i think they malawi even, 24 mm, I, I they even in, they even put a screenshot iko pompo jani something uh, that doesn't even make any sense forwarded messages but you didn't sue these guys Come on you could have made you could have made a lot of money out of this. Yeah. But then I actually wanted to we started the process. Mm. Ramud Ramud is the one that wanted to the most. Mm. But then people said oh legal battles oh take, they take lot, forever yeah. journey and also money. This and guy who got But for me it was mm. mostly I wanted to sue the big companies that used that. Because the big companies could have I'm telling you this was an start. Mm. According to the the law that we have I think they cyber bullying whatever whatever. Uh, Electro- electronic transaction act right i think so. you could have made a lot of money from all this the sobo those sobo castel, castel Malawi, right? banjalan sogolo banjalan sogolo um, Chani, come on Chani, you could have been rich yeah. you can even resurface the issue now let's resurface it yeah. <laughs> <laughs> we, we can uh, we can get all those things as evidence and get a, a, a lawyer who is happy to Uh, to do a pro bono and make money and get paid uh, when you get your payment because yeah. this is crazy i think for me also i let myself down because i let it go that was you, part of letting myself um, down because yeah because you like, could afford it if i fought um i wanted to fight just to also prove my innocence mm. but then i was like okay what people are saying jan, okay. jan, jan. beside your in the innocence and your narrative and your story for me the issue is even if that happened right i I don't find the joy of people who who attack you for that. Mm-hmm. I don't find it. Um d- despite that people talk about we sin different and blah, blah 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 but I don't find the joy of doing that. I- I'm not a scandalous free person. Yeah. No one is in this room. Yeah. People have done stuff. Yeah. Unfortunately for me, ever since that story, everybody just associates me with scandals. <laughs> like crazy, I have man. many, like I have every single time. I take a picture with the guy, I take a picture with the I will take a picture with you people uh, start yeah, saying. Yeah. Yeah. Like, That's like, a thing. Ah. That's a thing. And even on your uh, on your, on uh, uh, this process of marriage that you have, mm-hmm. the way people have attacked your boyfriend, yeah. uh, your fiance. Yeah. Is outrageous. Even man. when he just in, um, proposed to me, eee. people still attacked him. Eee. People still attacked him. So I don't know. That, I think for me, I stopped. Um, at the beginning, I used to beat myself up so mm. much, asking God, even asking my friends, "What is it that I have done? Mm. I don't understand. What is it that I have done?" Because you, you, I would say, you are the most hated um, female celebrity when it comes to TV. Yeah. Who else is hated on TV? Who yes. No one. Nobody. Nobody. Even It's actually you. I'm the most hated TV personality. Even the men I don't think are hated. Yeah, even even the men who can we say that is the most hated? No. no. 
Priscilla Gaira is yeah. the most hated. If you want to get famous, just diss me. Yeah, yeah, people will jump on that. Yeah, just diss me. You get followers, you get what. I'm giving you some tips. <laughs> <laughs> no, but this is bad. Yeah, just say this something. Even start a rumor today. Somebody wrote uh, wrote good up on Facebook. People jumped on it. Oh my God. But I had to go there like, these lies are not. That's why I'm saying that you have a, you have a strong boyfriend. Yeah. You have a strong I, guy. I thank God for him. Because yeah. honestly, if it was... Uh, Somebody uh, was like, if this is what I'll be dealing with, uh-huh. I don't think I want to... No, 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 no. Because the, consistently, the, these yeah. things are still coming. Yeah. And right. also what I hate so much is my boyfriend. Since we started dating, mm. he has always been a private. Yeah, that's he what I'm always, saying, that I saw him mm, there. He has always been a private person. And mm. I feel so bad that I put him into this place. Mm. Because his life has always been very structured. He mm. always likes to stay home. Mm. He does his thing as much as he goes out with friends. Mm. But he's a very private person. Yeah. And ever since that time, it's like... He's everywhere. Yeah. Yeah, you 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 Google uh his name is gonna come. Yeah. Or just say uh who is who is Priscilla's boyfriend? His yeah. name comes with a story. Yeah. <laughs> I was like, oh, this guy. Eish. Yeah, so and I feel so, so bad for him. But he said, but I, I just want to be with you. I don't want to be with um people that are talking. Yeah. I just want to be with you regardless. So oh, man, This is crazy. But it's for me, this is the thing. All these years, we are dealing with a story. Yeah. That is that can be created. Do you know these days you can even create mm. um a, a conversation online? There are, soft, there are websites. Oh, like, really? Yeah, even you can put names. Names or even numbers. And then you put it there and you can broadcast it as if people were having conversation. So people have believed a story that don't have, they don't have evidence of. No. Oh, man. No, not at all. Ah oh, man. This not is crazy. All. And to make matters worse, I think people and, just and say, people, hey, I'm going to see two of them. I'm going to see two of them. I'm going you and people seen. like me because they, they would have been so careful. Mm. You have you can't see anything. If ah, it's there's the twins, people are pulling crazy, up. They man. did a whole Ash. collage of me and my 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 fiance. Haji, that's the video. Collage, we're eating somewhere, we're having a great time. That's the video. What would you be perceive of you? Zambi by usual by usual. Hey, the videos of hey, Hadi Priscilla scandal, Priscilla is changing chan. Kuma, you view it, it's just me pausing. We're at Coco's, we're at what? There's literally nothing. Somebody really wants to believe, they're really fishing, really wants to believe and wanting to have something on me, which is Aye. obsessively toxic and scary. Yeah. yeah it's, like people, scary. it's like people plan to, to deal with you, right? They're still to planning, remove you, right? They're still planning to remove me. You think so, right? Yeah. Like they are hunting for you. They're still planning. Why? The, the sport, the Zodiac or the sport that you're get, getting gigs? I don't know. I don't know. I don't get as many gigs as I do and mm. the way people make it seem like I mm. do. But in it, I just time myself because I know what I want to be yeah. and I know where I want to go. I know what I, I, I... So there are some gigs where I cannot just be jumping on each and every gig because mm. I've structured myself very well. Mm. So that part... That's something that I've stopped thinking about. Yeah, but it's good. It's good. Uh, and I'm happy that you, t- you took the therapy route so that you at least you guys you get organized. Yeah. Because I think that could have crushed you heavily. Yeah, it it really did. It really did have a, a big yeah. toll on us. No celebrities came to your dims like, uh, I can be there for you, blah, 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 because of your time. Oh, they did. Uh-huh. Yeah, they did. <laughs> Boss, they did, eh? but uh, we move. <laughs> like, uh, I'm going to be there for you. <laughs> we move. Yeah, a lot of people did. I think a lot of people took advantage of that this, uh, specific time. Yeah. But uh, like I said before, I had a lot of protection from my friends. Yes. My friends took my phones. Wow. They took my phones. They deleted uh, Facebook, Twitter, and eh. WhatsApp. I didn't have, um, I was offline for quite some time mm. because that's not something I wanted to be seeing yeah because it would have gotten stuck to my head and i would have started believing that maybe maybe this is why and I this is the thing i was talking to to Nyawuyo about um females hating females mm-hmm. specifically uh in malawi yeah it's it's bad yeah i've seen people that attack you the most mm-hmm. on tiktok mm-hmm. females i'm like guys yeah i thought you guys are teaming up and saying this oh. is harassment to our fem- to our fellow uh gender person mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. How, how, how would we even, what's, what's that? I actually don't understand. But then the thing is, um, I don't, I watch a lot of these motivational speeches. <laughs> I watch also a lot of um, preaching sessions. Yeah. 
and stuff. So I get to hear what a lot of people are saying in regards to people that are going through a lot of things. Yeah. And why people hate people so much. Mm. Because that's something that I've been wanting to understand why. Yeah. People hate, dislike me. Not mm. the man. I guess I should use the word dislike. I I do understand that not everybody would like me. Not everybody will like you uh, as a person, mm. right? Uh, which is okay. But the hate that you get is, is extraordinary. Yeah. And uh, for that hate to be exerted by brands, to be exerted by people in the industry, is is unfortunate. Yeah. Because I felt like being a woman, you're supposed to have an extra cover, mm. right? Because of how the society is, yeah. you're supposed to get a cover uh, on you, but never happened. Yeah. But I'm glad you you have a good team. I do. I I think um, I do. I... Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> All right. I know we've taken a lot of time, so let me let me, let me get let's get to a close here. Um, there's so much uh, that is happening, um, specifically in the me- in the media industry, um, and so forth, career wise. What what is your big thing? What do you want to do apart from going outside? You spoke about going out of Malawi, yeah. maybe working for SABC. Yeah, all right. Praise God, I receive. Yeah, you, yeah. you get that. Um, what is it that you wanna you wanna do? My biggest prayer and biggest dream has always been to be the best. Mm. I've always um, I want people to look at this career as something that's admirable mm. because I think. Um, we have had a gap where TV presenters were just looked as mere people. Yeah. Um, I'm a TV, I'm a Gubanga, Basi. But this is a fun career to have. Yeah. You, there's so many opportunities mm. in this career that you can get out of. Yeah. As a person and also outside, you can help a lot of people. Yeah. So my biggest dream is to become the best mm. and also to give a platform to anybody that wants to walk in the same path as i'm walking yeah. i'm not saying your path is going to be as hard as mine yeah yeah, yeah. <laughs> people are going to love you yeah more than people love me mm. but i guess i'm just sowing in the the seeds mm. to to make sure that queen ago people now need to understand and see yeah, a brighter picture learn. of oh this could it being a journalist is not only just going to my um, functions, blah, yeah. blah, no, but there's something else that's bigger. And you mm. being a journalist don't necessarily mean that you just have to be writing stories. Mm. I've made sure that I've broadened up my brand to, mm. you know, hosting shows, mm. um, interviewing people. I also do TV production. I'm a good video okay. editor. Wow. Yeah. So there's so much yeah. that um, you can do a brand influencing. So mm. you, I've, I, I think I've also created a, a, a big platform for myself yeah using zodiac at the same time mm. to 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 create a where if i say i'm going to leave zodiac I've, i think i've already created a good platform yeah to also help other people at yes the same time. yes so my bigger picture would be when i get the money right yeah i would love to create a good platform for other women in the entertainment industry i mm. think the entertainment industry is lacking in the females that's a thing. In the entertainment mm. industry, to be out there, to be bold, mm. to jump on that stage the way people jump on yes. that stage. Yeah. And compete. And compete with mm. men because it's fun. Mm. It's really fun if you if you ask me. It's really fun. But a lot of people are timid and they're scared. Yeah. But I want to also give a picture that don't be scared. Mm. These things come, but they're not going to kill you. Yeah. You just need to take the right measures. Because I saw that the, the hate was doing something to me mentally, I decided mm. to go for help mm. because I don't want to be living a shadow of myself Yeah, because I know where I want to be. Yeah. So I gave myself help. When people now are, I'm medicated. Don't worry about me. I'm yeah. medicated because I don't want people to have that influence on me mm. when I know that I can do something about it. I mm. cannot change the way people talk about me yeah. the narrative they have about me yeah. but i can change who i want to be mm. that's that's their own version yeah. whatever they think about me that's none of my business but mm. if i sit in that space where now i'm oh this this is what people think about me yeah yeah so imagine after that whole situation happened yeah. if i just stayed 
home and I said, I'm not going outside. Do you know people kill themselves? Yeah, I'm not doing anything, but I decided to come back. And I went on stage and I gave it five times more than I used to give before even that issue happened. So... Mm. That's what you do. Yeah, you, you keep on fighting. Yeah, you, I, don't, you don't stop. Yeah, because now you say something bad, I'm going to rise up twice. Mm. And I'm going to be loud as twice. Mm. If you say something, in end, I'll be on your toes. Yeah. I'll be on your toes. Because, yeah, yeah I've made sure Crazy. that now I've treated myself. Mm. If I'm feeling some type of way, I'll take myself, go take care of myself, and I'll come back twice as hard. Amazing. Yeah. That's so powerful. See, that's so powerful. And I believe you're going to make it. Amen. I, I believe you're going to make it. Yeah. Uh, I, I believe in uh, in women empowerment. Yeah. I believe women have to be promoted, have to do things, yeah. but also have to be self, uh, self-reliance self yeah. uh, to themselves because of their capacity, mm-hmm. not ro- not put on position because they're women, but because they can do it. Yeah. And you're proven to do that. Yeah. You host with men, yeah. right, in these platforms, yeah. uh, and which is a good thing. Um, yeah, I wouldn't leave without asking this question. When uh, Quest was doing a, a, a song for you, did he get consent? Oh yeah, he did. <laughs> <laughs> he did. Um, when the song came out, mm. um, Quest is like my little friend. Yeah. I call him my little friend because yeah. he's really young. Yeah, you interviewed him even when he was eight yeah. years. Yeah, he was really young. I saw him blow his yes, I, I interviewed him yeah. because that's who I am. I see potential and I go for it, mm. and I I see that somebody really is willing. So mm. he came. We used to text each other. I got I got panga ganimbo. Yeah. Oh, I want to do this. I'll be like, go for it, go for it. Yeah. So he sent me. He's like, Priscilla, I've done something. Mm. Tell me what you think about. It. Yeah. At first, I didn't know. I was like, I send it through. He sent it. I laughed. <laughs> yeah. I, I was like, okay, mm. you have taken a different angle because uh, other artists are singing about other female artists. Yeah, yeah, yeah you yeah. have taken a whole different angle because yeah. I think he has also seen that Priscilla is a, is a firecracker when it yes. comes to. If I want to get attention, let me go. With I'm Priscilla. gonna get it. Yeah. <laughs> so I was like, okay, go for it. Mm. And I told my my boyfriend. Then mm. I was like, he was like, oh, that's nice of him. That's really mm. nice. Then it came out. Mm. And I didn't even think it was going to uh-huh. go over the way it did. Yeah. yeah. No, it's crazy. But yeah, uh, I think everything that, that you touch, ways is your name, right? Uh, I guess that thing. So yeah. because everything that you touch, I guess everything. A controversial <laughs> situation. Yeah. Or even positive situation. Yeah. So I, I want to ask you to do something. Okay. You look at the camera, you're going to tell people, uh, hi, my name is Priscilla Kaira. Okay. Please check out uh, podcast with Magnioni. On YouTube. Okay. Right. So you do that. We're going to get that. We're going to throw it there. So people um, are going to attack us. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> going to attack us like, yes. So you guys, you're associating. And I wonder. I'm telling you, people who, who get the stories and who take who take pride and pleasure mm. in doing that. I wonder. Yeah. I'm I sh- lost a really, I think I lost a, a million dollar um, influencing deal. What? If I was to tell you the brand, I, they took somebody else. Because, oh, we hear you are full of scandals uh, last year. Full of scandals. And that was one. Last year, um, there was something at issue. I even have an email to today, e- them um, terminating the contract. E- and then after that, I was like, okay, so if this is the narrative that I have, how many other jobs have I lost? I was even- Other ha- people who can't just even call you. They can't. They will just be like, ah, oh, you? Oh, my gosh. Those, I was so happy because they opened up my eyes. Yeah. I didn't know that was going on in the background. And after that, I was I went to them and I sent them an email. I was like, it's very unfortunate mm. as a big brand, brand yourself yeah. that you are taking what social media is saying yeah. without any proof to say yeah. you don't want to be associated with me without any proof. Mm. Anyway, I'm still going to thrive and I will thrive. And I'm still going And sometimes to thrive. that's why I, I look at Platforms like Mikos, Mikos really need to really check some of the things. Yeah. Because these stories make people lose opportunities. Mm. After that, I did. I remember I, I called Excess. Yeah. I was like, you're messing up my life. Hey. And this is something I went to school for. I yeah. worked hard for this. Yeah. It's not something where just because I can talk well and I came on TV. No, no, no. I worked hard for this career. Hey. And I'm still working hard. Only for you people to write four stories about me and the narrative is still going on till today. Hey. I'm losing so many opportunities. If I want to apply for a school, say a sponsorship, and they Google they'll, my name, they'll Google your name. They will see these things. Do you think they cannot take me for school? These people don't think about that. They don't think about it. And they 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 shallow-minded. 
quote it, shallow minded yeah. kind of approach that people look at when they are trying to do this mm. uh, because of the numbers and all things. And yeah. people, uh, there was someone who said it, I don't know if he's on this podcast, said, um, people say, Kumalo and Kogoma. Uh, because it's not happening to you. Yeah. But when it happens to you, even people, your your relative, your yeah. sister, your brother. Yeah. You see the impact that you it see has. the impact. Yeah. It's crazy. Yeah. But yeah, I believe you're gonna make it. I Praise believe God, yes. I believe this podcast will, will help in, in in creating in making sure that yeah, nowadays be positive. Right? Nobody's gonna say anything mean. I think people will no, pretty I'm, much. I'm, I'm not worried. I'm not worried. Come on. I love I love drama. Like you people like- that have come <laughs> here and say stuff. Like, oh, people, people, eh, people say stuff here. Mm-hmm. But I, I love these things and um I'm so happy that you came. So let, do that. Okay. Mother Camilla, um promote us. We'll see what we can do. I, I've given you orders. <laughs> <laughs> Hello everybody. How are you guys doing? Make sure you check out Mac Nyoni podcast on YouTube and do not forget to subscribe. We're moving my gist stories. Woo! <laughs> Uh, uh, guys, we have something. We we have it. We have it yeah. from Priscilla herself. Oh my God, I'm so excited for you. Getting married on the 9th of October. Yes. Where is it happening? I, I, I'm a bouncer. And dis- disclose location. Oh, well, yeah, we'll I'm a bouncer. <laughs> we'll go there yeah, next year. But yeah, yeah, I'm so excited for you. Uh, and but you're out. invited to my send off on the 23rd at oh. Kulemeka Gardens. Oh, send off. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That one yeah. is now anybody can Open. come. Yeah, yeah. No, no, no. You, you're a celebrity. You are a very important person in the in Malawi. Uh, I, I need to start calling myself a celebrity. <laughs> yeah, and, and people would, would tell would tell your your, you your husband not. then like, don't the black night her. She's an asset for the country. That's crazy, man. Like, <laughs> why? Yeah. yeah. But I'm so excited you came. Thank uh, you so much for having me. Cool. Anything we have we have we have left that you need to clarify to people? This is a free place. I'm telling you, we are free press. I think Suleiman is angry when Gase fell deactivated. Why are we not Find a way. Oh my God. For me, I always say yeah. um, be kind. Yeah. Be kind because um, you don't know what people are going through. Yeah. So as much as you are behind the screen talking to people, you say celebrities, and I don't like this narrative where you attack a celebrity and then you say Asamayanke, Chifugwa. Yeah. Well, they chose it. Chan Chan, they chose the career. No, no, no. We chose the career, yes, but we did not choose. We, you are choosing to write those things. You are choosing to make that decision to say something mean about a yeah. person. And uh, just put those celebrities in your shoes if they were your relatives, your cousin, and people are, are talking something bad about them. And people are going through a lot of things. We're living in a world where anything can happen. You don't know the person you're talking bad about today will be the one to help you tomorrow. Yeah. So trade carefully in the things that you say and to who you are saying it to. Um, I'm also grateful that there are other people that actually do come to me and apologize oh. sometimes. Yeah. Okay. I'm sorry I said all of this, this, this and mm. stuff. But if I know you and you're talking smack, I come to you and I ask, what's up? Mm. Do we got a problem? Mm. Are we... What about my usual we are we go to go to a screenshot you could evidence can I go I got pass my mom my father yeah yeah my father yeah I'm quite also excited my parents are here so ah, yeah they yeah for, for the now. whole uh, send yeah. off and wording right so I think it will also be overwhelming for them because mm. they were just seeing how everything yeah 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 on social media is like mm. for somebody that stays away their mental health is not also okay yeah. thinking about it yeah so they're like. What in the world? You guys don't jump on as many things. They don't understand. So don't get it. Yeah. Yeah. So always be kind. Um, you know, give yourself grace. If you know you're going through something, grace is very important. And as people, we do not forgive ourselves. We forgive other people, but we don't forgive ourselves. Yeah. So we end up walking around with so much hatred and bitterness because we haven't forgiven ourselves, mm. and we project that to other people. Mm. So forgive yourself. Don't project. Amazing. Uh, that's a, a a good note to 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 finish this. But I'm excited that you came, and I'm excited about what you're gonna do next. Yeah. And I believe for the great things that are gonna happen Amen. to you. Amen. So, guys, until next time, like, subscribe. This podcast is endorsed by Priscilla. <laughs> I've left him tired. He's like so no, tired no. from what he has. What goal is good? <sighs> no, no. But the thing is, that what 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 I've uh, all along, I've never read this thing because mm. i don't usually read these scandals okay. right uh, for a reason 
I don't put myself in the Malawian shoes a lot mm. because it confuses how you think about things and progress. Yeah. So I read a lot about outside things, mm. about technology, about innovations, because I want to think that way. Mm -hmm. So I've never read about this. Yeah. So all along, my thoughts were there are things that I've never seen. Because okay. even when people say, ah, oh, there's a scandal, this is an image, I don't see. Mm. I said, I don't want to see. You need to start seeing. No, I don't do You see, the <laughs> thing is, I, I protect my mind. I don't want to think Malawian. I, I am Malawian, but I don't want to think. Mediocre. Mediocre in a way, yeah. right? Yes, yeah, so I think the different way. <laughs> Mediocre, yeah. It's right? good to think like that. So that's also one of the things when I came back to Malawi, I was like, I don't want to be mediocre. Yeah. Maybe so, that's why people don't like me. Yeah, maybe sometimes people like hurt you because they, they feel like you are different in a way. Yeah. You don't subscribe to being low. You because be if, if, if they don't find anything, they attack my salary. Ah. Yeah. <laughs> they attack, you know. <laughs> so you tell your boss, they're attacking my salary. Yeah. Do something. Oh, attack my salary. Hey, how do you uh, maintain this lifestyle of yours? Yeah, attacking you. Can drama go for my woman and So it's, Is that personal? You, everybody has a personal thing. Hey. I didn't know it gets the personal. So yeah. Strive not to be mediocre. I think that's the word of the day. Yeah, yeah but that's the thing. Uh, Strive not to be I mediocre. I don't think, I don't think you have to think like that. Uh, that's why I hardly check these tabloids around here. Uh, when I talk to people here, I talk about the stories. I want people to own their stories. Stories, yes. Um, when people are going uh, around and making speculations of people and stuff like that, I look at that and I wonder, mm. what, what? What does it benefit you? You get the joy mm. to do that. People just like seeing other people hurt them. Hurt yeah. people, hurt people. Yeah. Q Malewezi. <laughs> yeah, he, Q, Q, yeah, he, he picked that right. But anyway, uh, guys, we, we have been talking about closing this thing for a long time. Yeah. I'm not tired. I could have done five five hours. I've seen her checking her phone because probably she has to go, to go back yeah. at our workplace. But I'm excited that she came and I'm looking forward to the next one. Like, subscribe. This podcast is for you. We talk about so many things. I believe in people's stories. I believe in Malawians that are doing the most, that are doing great things, and we need to profile their stories. We need to talk about content from Malawi. People that have just seen her story from elsewhere, maybe they read a tweet. At least they have something that they can look at and hear the story, hear what really happened, and then, yeah, decide for themselves. What I think is awkward, and it's unfortunate for people to, um, to break other people if you don't have tangible evidence. At least have tangible evidence, for God's sake, and then you, you have the right to do it. But yeah, I look forward to the next one. Guys, we gotta go. Uh, this is Podcast with Mike Nyoni. We are out. Howdy.